What's up guys and welcome back to 72T. Thanks everyone for joining us in today's video. Thanks for joining us on Thursday afternoon. And today's video we're typically going to be talking about Google TV. So if you guys don't know what Google TV, in a few seconds a Google TV like the interface is going to pop up when we did a bit of a look at it last year. So that's going to pop up and give you a general idea about Google TV. So what the goal is with Google TV, so I'll just go through the goal of Google TV and then I will talk about where, what TVs it possibly could launch on. So the goal of Google TV is obviously um, Google TV is going to replace Android TV. So Android TV is pretty much going to be going away in 2022. So the whole of 2021, some companies such as Sony, TCL, um, are going to actually start integrating Google TV in. So that is one great news. So um, Google TV gives you a way better interface, a way better friendly interface, and it's so much easier to use, especially with Android TV. Android TV is a bit basic, and it's really not much really you can do on that. However, Google TV really changes the factor of it. You can do so much more with it. It's easy to navigate through it. It just runs a lot more smoothly. And as you'll see it popping up on the screen, you can just see it is so much better than Android TV. So pretty much, we'll be saying goodbye to Android TV in 2022. Again, we don't know. Google hasn't really told us exactly a date when that is happening. However, some new TVs that you do purchase will have Google TV integrated. And this is where the big factor is. If you wanted to buy a TV in 2021, do you want to buy an Android TV or a Google TV one? And if I was to give you any opinion at all, you want to go for the Google TV because again, Android TV is going to be discontinued. And if you buy it, just say you buy a Hisense and it has Android TV built into it. And um, just say in 2022, Hisense announces they are only making TVs with Google TV. What happens to your Android TV Hisense? Will Google update it? I don't know. It is possible that they will update it because it is on their OS system. However, they may not update it, so you may just be stuck with Android TV. You may not be able to update to the Google TV. So that's a couple of factors to do. So if you do want to buy a new TV this year and you want to make sure it's going to have the latest stuff for the next couple of years, go for Google TV, okay? because um, that's going to be the biggest change right now because Android TV is pretty much getting discontinued next year um, and then it will, will no longer be continued. So keep that in mind. Now, the big change is that, as I said before, what we're looking forward to is Google, well, CNET has announced that on um, Sony, a Sony TV that they are announcing is going to have Google TV fully integrated in, on it. And it's going to be the first actual TV to have um, Google TV interface built in. And this actual model is going to be called, it's going to be called the X90J. So we don't know how much this TV is going to be yet. However, that is going to be the first TV it's going to be integrated with um, Google TV. The second TVs that we have been told, and this is out of the United States, is TCL is going to be doing a few TVs with uh, Google TV, okay? They're also doing some with, um, obviously, Android TV, but they're doing uh, uh, some models. We think they're the budget models at this point. We don't really know too much info, but they are going to have Google TV. Now, in the States, basically, there is another um, one that that uh, TCL works with, and that is Roku. Now, Roku is a bit like Telstra TV in Australia. However, no TVs in Australia actually have a full Roku experience built in. So it'll be interesting what TCL does and what TV they put it in. Is it going to be a high-end TV, a budget TV? A lot of rumors are saying it's a budget TV, and it's going to be around the $6.99 mark, possibly. We don't know exactly what it will be. But TCL is definitely meant to be getting uh, Obviously, possibly Google TV this year. We don't know when, mid uh, 2021. And obviously for the Sony one, mid 2021 as well. And obviously we've got uh, Philips. So Philips is um, apparently gonna have Google TV on there as well. And all of, obviously a few projectors are gonna be getting done. Again, we haven't seen that keynote yet to find out what they actually are doing. And that's pretty much what's happening right there with uh, pretty much Android TV. So also in this video, as I said before, if you were thinking about buying a new TV, so you've got Google TV and Android TV, which one to go for? Definitely I would go for Google TV because Android TV is being discontinued. So I'm hoping that may have gave a bit of an idea. I'm hoping it did a little bit, but yeah, pretty much the only TVs that we sort of know of 
coming um, to Google TV is going to be the Sony TV, TCL, and Philips possibly. We don't really know yet. Thanks everyone for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.